Right, I weren't going to do no more shower videos, but I picked this one up today. The customer replaced his shower and he had the old one. I, know, I knocked him a bit off so I could take it away. I've never worked on one of these before. Bristan Joy. Well, a Bristan electric shower. So I wanted to have a look in here myself. But probably the last electric shower video I'll do because I'm getting bored of them myself, to be honest. So. I have to say that these really do look nice showers. I'm impressed. Well, before I take the lid off, I usually do that, just turn it to cold so I know where it is and turn it to, well, turn it upright. There's a lead on there, a little ribbon cable. So obviously the top you've got the on and off button. The PC board controlling all the temperature, which is common on modern showers nowadays. You do have a flow control valve though. Right. I've only got my cheap home multimeter today, it's at work they done. So Test the uh, solenoid valve first. So that's reading 4.35 kilo ohms. So I'd say that's a good reading for that. There's a bit of a marker pressure switch there as well. If you can see that in there, look. It's interesting. Never seen one done like that before. Test up here. Just need continuity up here. So the TCO is all right. So is that element. I'll just see what ohms are. So the upper elements. So and it's 98 ohms, which is a lot. <laughs> so there's got to be something wrong there. I'll go on the bottom element. Let's go there on the bottom element. The bottom element is open circuit, so there's definitely something wrong in there. Looks like one's definitely gone, but the other one is very, really very high anyway, so. I can say, without a doubt, that heater can is shot. But that's it. I want to do another video, but I really want to do one on this. Really nice, clean, easy to work on. Can't fault them. Good showers.